Most people in life are looking for how do I make a life worth living and retirement worth having. There are people who don't understand paganism. I can tell you and profess to you that I am not an expert. I am relatively new to it. But what I had to decide was who I wanted to lay my ideologies, my philosophies, my spirituality, and my faith with. And the more that I experienced certain religions and certain people as a cultural demographic group and a generalized organization, I made a choice for paganism. As an adult and at my age of 50-ish, I don't have to explain myself to anyone on anything that I believe in. That is the beauty of the International Declaration of Human Rights that allows me as an international citizen, because I'm an American-born citizen, to have any faith I like. Additionally, the United States Constitution was created and our country was fully founded on the pursuit of, at the time, what they called Christ or God. And that was the whole reason that the discoverers came across the seas to give us a place to worship and to honor God. So those two documents are the highest in the world and in the community of which we live. Anything else is opinion at best and a ridiculous recanting of the rules of that. So what I'm saying to you is that I am an individual who loves the Lord in a specific way. I know Odin and I know Valhalla and I know Hades. But I also know different words for all of that because I am a pursuer of God. I am a pursuer of the Lord God Most High, the Father and Mother of all creation, the divine architect that has been proven through theory by scientific study that exists. I am most definitely a proponent of listening to the light and love of the Lord that is gifted to us and talked about in many religious works called the Holy Spirit or Holy Ghost. I know the difference between Satan and I know the difference between angels. And it's very easy to tell the difference. It's very easy to get that gift from God of discernment. And if you're a Christian or a Wiccan or whatever you are, please at least read those particular verses on the gifts of the Spirit. But what I'm telling you is that I am just an individual pagan priest. I also have two religious licenses that allows me to marry people, which is a minister's license that I earned because I liked both the groups and I liked what they offered in terms of literature, and that allows me to offer a selection to the people that eventually I'll be marrying in a part of my work, in my new course, in my new life path, and in one of the income streams for my life. Because we can have multiple income streams, and I'm not going to go off on that. But if you want to learn about what it means to be pagan, here's what I'm going to really suggest you do. You go out to the International Pagan Federation website, you read their principles, you read their documents, you follow their newsletter, you get what happens to us, and you really support them with membership.